Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and I am Kanture, welcome to my channel. On my last video, I showed you how you can fix the flashing folder MacBook Air to a workable computer. But we saw on that process that we installed that operating system or macOS that is quite old and we will see with that old operating system what we can do and later on we are going to upgrade that old macOS operating system to macOS Catalina. So let's tune in and start the process. So you can see here we are going to go to the about this Mac. We can see the version of the Mac OS is 10.9.5 and it looks pretty old and the process is 1.3 GHz and Core i5 and 4 GB of RAM installed. If we click on more info, we see the MacBook Air mid-2013. We are using 13 inch and software version is there. If we click on software update, it's not going more than that and all the security update has been install now what now if we wanted to install mac os catalina here we can see the mac os catalina if you want to click on get it's showing that we have to put our uh, apple id and password but but before we using this one we're going to see what's in that old operating system we have and we're going to go to the downside memory lane and check it out that old software first of all go to their launch pad we can see it's look pretty nice and silvery and looks pretty great too we never saw i mean the modern one is kind of little different uh, i'm going to make another video about how you can install mac OS new version just like the mac OS big sur on your mac so that's going to come next we can see it looks really good i like that animation in the bar and if we go here inside we can see we have safari mail contacts calendar everything is there we need it if we open say here the other software we can see lots of other software is there too boot camp assistant everything is there if we click on x11 x11 used to be the software to make your computer as a server but when you open this it say that x11 is not anymore included in mac OS and client library available to the quizzer project so they discontinue this one now we're going to say google.com google.com say google.com is working now we're going to try to open some youtube and we'll see if it's run or not if we see reload okay so what it say the safari content quit unexpectedly so nowadays all this modern operating modern operating system has the modern web kit so this operating system doesn't have any modern web kit and it's not really usable we cannot use anything on that computer until we upgrade the computer to the mac OS mojave or mac OS catalina so we'll start the process and we will see how we can upgrade that computer to the latest version of Mac OS. So first of all, we have to click on that App Store app. Then we have to Mac OS Catalina. If we able to find the Mojave, let's see if we find the Mojave or not. Mojave OS. Let's see if we able to find the Mojave too. Let's click on that. No, we are not finding any Mojave here. Maybe we can find it different way, but here we are going to install Mac OS Catalina. So let's start the process. After inserting the ID and password, we'll back. So after click on the get here, we had to enter the password and username of the Mac ID or Apple uh, iCloud ID. But there is a there is a catch there. If you need to. Uh, I mean if you need to sign in with your Apple ID to that app store here in Morphix you have to generate a authentication code if you have the two-factor authentication is on 
so for that purpose you have to generate that one from there go to the settings then password and security i mean go to the settings then where your name is showing there you just click on there and then go to the password and security then go to the two-factor authentication and click on the generate uh, two-factor authentication code or get authentication code then put the authentication code next to your password and then click on sign in that way you will able to sign in to your mac os marvix app store so after that thing we see that mac os catalina installation window has been appeared we'll just click on continue Then we we'll click on agree. Then again agree. Then click on Macways hard drive here and click on install. Then you have to give the computer password what we know and then click on OK and we'll wait until the next steps is coming up. Now we can see we need to restart the computer. You say that closing all the application and preparing for restart. see the installation bar in progressing we'll wait until that finish after restarting and the progress were done it's now installing the mac os on the hard drive and it's gonna take 28 minutes after 28 minutes we'll come back Now we can see the computer has restarting now. Hopefully the Mac OS Catalina already installed on our computer. It say that about six minutes more then we'll be done. Now we can see the Mac OS Catalina has been installed and we're going to turn on and see what's inside. Here we can see the continue, the privacy policy that always when you install they always give you those things, <laughs> all these terms and conditions. I'm not going to share any crash report with the <gasps> developers, I'm just going to click on <gasps> continue and go ahead continue I'm going to enable the Siri I'm not going to share any recordings continue and I'm going to choose the automatic then continue setting up your Mac that's very pleasing Here you go. It's saying that it's want me to log in there. I'm just close it. I'm going to log in. Now we're going to see about this Mac. We can see our Mac has been installed. The Mac OS Catalina. So we able to upgrade the Mac OS Mavericks 
to Mac OS Catalina. So we upgrade the old old operating system to a new operating system just in few clicks. So if you like the video, please share with other people and thanks for watching. Thank you very much for your support and please subscribe and press the bell icon. So on my next video, you can get my video very quickly and comment below. What's your opinion about my video? Thank you very much. Bye bye. See you again.